Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name is Stan, and me and my dirty holy shirt today are going getting ready to put this planer gauge into service. And before we do, we're going to uh, measure it and check it and see whether we trust it and make any adjustments needed to either square it up, parallel it up, true it up, whatever it needs before we put it into service. So let's uh, let's start with uh, the solid body here, and we're going to check it for square. Um, I've got the GoPro set up on the uh, on the Square Master here, and we're going to bring a, a shop standard over, which is just an angle block, and uh, make sure our Square Master is calibrated. Um, you need to do this every time you use it. It's pretty standard uh, for these things. Every time you move them on the table, they change. They're te very temperature sensitive, so um, let's get it uh, zeroed up here on a on a block and check it. It's real easy to calibrate. And uh, we're just a shade over a zero there. And we're falling off a little bit. So let's uh, zero up down at the bottom. <clears throat> okay, zero there. Coming to the top. Well, that's actually pretty good. It's within a tenth. Let me adjust that back foot just a skosh. There, just a little tweak on it. And we'll sweep it again. But I think we're... I think our square master is ready to be used. We'll check it one more time. Make sure this block wasn't sitting on anything funny. <clears throat> And make a sweep down. And a sweep back up. Alright, we're within a tenth over six inches. So we're, we're pretty happy there. Okay, let's check our, uh, our planer gauge. I've cleaned the bottom. And I've cleaned this back. Uh, uh, just on some 600 grit sandpaper on, uh, on my other granite plate. And just just lightly went over it, and uh, there's a couple of little nicks and stuff. I just took the high spots off, but now we're gonna uh, uh, check this little guy for square and see how it how it fares. See if we think it needs some kind of adjustment. It's about eight tenths off over the uh, over that sweep. That's about a five inch sweep. We'll do it again. See if we get repeatable numbers. Just a shade below zero there. And that one. That was a better sweep. It's a total of three tenths. We started out a tenth below and we ended up two tenths above. So that's uh, that's pretty good. We got very different numbers. There's actually some oil under, under it, right? It's coming out of that groove. I've been sitting up on a little bit of oil. That would be enough to cause a, cause a bad reading. Everything matters. Every little thing matters. <clears throat> okay, let's make another sweep and see what that looks like. Okay, that's within four tenths. So we've had a three, a four, and a nine. I'm, I'm thinking that nine was the oil.
it's about four tenths again. Okay, so this thing's within four tenths over five inches. That's pretty darn good. That's that thing's pretty darn square, and that's good enough for uh, using around the shop. Um, let's check some of the other features on it. Uh, we're we're pretty happy. We're within uh, four tenths of being perfectly square here. Uh, let's check some of the other features on it. When this top is uh, you know tightened down, this needs to be parallel with the base and parallel side to side and front to back, as well as this little pad right here. So let's uh, let's check that and get our gauge up here. It's what's nice about a square master, you can use it as a surface gauge too. And that little Noga fine adjust I put in there, you can zero it up pretty darn easy. Okay, so we're zero in that corner. And it looks like they've got a pretty parallel grind. Well, that doesn't look too parallel. Am I tight? Yeah, I'm tight. Well, it's, uh, it's the same thing over there. You know, someone worked a wedge into this at one time or the other. And if you look carefully at this grind, it, it doesn't look like a factory grind. I see a little chattery stuff going on there. So I'm kind of thinking that top's been reground, but not very well. Let's go here. Yeah, so we got about a thousandth difference between one side and the other. Let's get down here and check this little pad down here and see what's going on down there. drops off. Up, down. It's a little crooked. Not as radical as the top though. Okay, but this top, I suspect it's been reground, but that's a really easy fix. Uh, I'm going to move the planer gauge down, you know, uh, to the midpoint. I was all the way up at the top. Uh, I'm going to move the planer gauge down to the center Check again, see if we get the same numbers, and we'll take it down to the bottom and see if we get the same numbers. Uh, we're trying to, what I'm trying to determine is if the the guide and the ways that are on here maybe have something wrong with them in causing this top to tilt, or the top is in fact out of uh, out of parallel. So let's just uh, check it at the midpoint. Get over here in the corner. And we're zeroed up. And yeah, the same thing. Look at that. Wow. So we're seeing pretty much the same numbers here at the midpoint. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. We're going to run it all the way down to here. And we'll go ahead and check it down here and see if we get come up with the you know repeatable errors down there. If we do, and then we know it's just a bad grind on top. Which is Pretty darn easy to fix. Okay, zero in the corner. Yep, same thing. Side to side grinds way off. Somebody was just plowing through that thing or something, not paying attention or whatever. But the, all right, so we know that this pad is wedge shaped towards me this way. All I'm going to do is we're going to run it up here. Uh, just so that this sits proud and we're going to block it up in the uh, grinder you know with some one two three blocks on each side just give it some packing on each side and uh, you know pack it in there uh, mag it down and just dust off that top we're going to you know securely tighten our little screw here and we're just going to clean up that top it only needs a thou and a half so no big deal but uh Let's get this top done and then we'll go over the rest of it. Okay, we're back from the surface grinder <clears throat> and uh, we, we've uh, machined our top and I've taken it apart, cleaned all the coolant and grinding schmutz out of there and I put a little one drop of whey oil on it, on the slider, on that little, uh, on the guide. 
and we'll check it you know uh, but there's my grind I'll show you that and kind of show it to you to the camera and I've stoned the edges and I even took the time to cut myself before I stoned the edges so uh, let's uh, check this thing again and see if we got rid of that funny side to side uh, stuff let me uh, move the GoPro down here All right. maybe you guys can see better now and we'll get the planer gauge up in the ballpark get on a zero Yeah, let's see how we did. So side to side, tenth. All right, let's check the grind. The grind is uh, pretty good. It's one then a tenth uh, on a long axis. There's your tenth. There's your tenth. So pretty good. Uh, a lot better than a thou and a half. Let's run it down to the center. <clears throat> We're gonna put it down here in the middle now. <laughs> Still, people dinging me in the middle of my videos. Okay. Let's get down here in the middle. Tighten our thumb screw. And see how we do here. Side to side, zero, zero. Go here in the middle. Zero, zero. Pretty good. Out here on the end. Uh, about a tenth high. No big deal. Yeah, let's take it down to the bottom. All the way down, rocket the scene down to the bottom. Show that to the camera. We're down as low as it can go here. So let's uh, zoom this down to here. And check us here. Go a little bit side to side, but you know, that little slider and the V groove and everything's not going to line up in the same spot every time. Between here and here, we got a couple of tenths side to side. And this is high on this side. Let me reposition that and we'll check it again. Just, I mean, it's just the way this piece seats into. Uh, <clears throat> into that, uh, into the slider. Let's see if that changes anything just by reseating it. So that's pretty interesting, yep. It's pretty straight now. It's within a couple of tenths. So that's pretty interesting depending on how you, you know, you can just take it and move it a little bit and retighten it and it'll change your tilt of this little sliding carriage. So that's pretty interesting, but we got it a heck of a lot better than it did. We were, when we started off, it was repeatable. We had a ramp on this top piece. that was about a thou and a half. They repeated top, middle, and bottom, and now we're within tenths. So uh, definite improvement on this gauge, and I say it's ready to go into service. Uh, we check squareness. Um, all that's left is this little shelf guy here. I'm going to check that here uh, next up and then this little this piece here see how see how square that is but uh, those two and this gauge is done so uh, <clears throat> let's move on to that <sighs> let's get this guy right here this was pretty good when we checked it earlier thought it was let's see Yeah, that thing's, yeah, it's within a half though. It's falling off on that side. Let's lower it. Check it down here. There we go. Same thing. Low, high, low. All right. 
So we know that one's uh, actually we'll mark it right now. Go a pin. We're going to call this side minus 0.5. Okay. Uh, next up, we'll check this guy and see how it's uh, how straight it is. Not terrible. No, it's within a half thou. But grindable. Uh, we can check it a little bit higher. I need to slide you guys up. So I can slide this up. And now this is all the way at the top of its travel. The planer gauge is all the way at the top of its travel. That's minus uh, 0.7. Let's check it farther down. Let's see if we get the same uh, numbers. Zero up in this corner. Pretty much the same thing. Right there, yep, minus 0.7. So that could use a little bit there, just a little touch up, 7 tenths, and a half a thou there. So no big deal to do that. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of getting in there and getting your grind in tight, working your way out, packing blocks on each side, and uh, same thing here. In tight, get in there with a wheel, and uh, Packing blocks on each side and work your way out. Pretty simple. All right, so uh, that's up next. Okay, well, we finished the grind on this little shelf here and this fella here. And, you know, I didn't take much off. Uh, it was seven tenths on this one and a half thou on this one. So 0 0.5, 0 0.7. And I just did them until they cleaned up. Very little to do. Um, <clears throat> the way I did it, I just stood this up just like this, packing blocks on each side. Uh, there's a relief cut down in the inside corner. See a little relief that's been milled out of there or slitting saw cut out of there. So uh, that, it already had a relief, <clears throat> so it was real easy to get into that inside corner with just a standard wheel. So we, uh, you know, we started in tight, came down till we just barely cleaned, and then just worked our way out and lather, rinse, repeat on this guy. But uh, let's measure it and see uh, how we did. I think this gauge is pretty close to being ready to be put into service. Okay, so we're a shade above zero. Let me get over here and we're a shade below zero, so that's about a tenth total here, tenth above. Right on zero, so within a tenth. Pretty happy there. And then come here, same thing. Zip around, see if we got those same ones. This is this was our our very first grind here. So same thing. We're about a tenth side to side. Tenth side to side. Oops, hope so I don't fall down in that hole. Did it again. 
and tent side to side. So these two surfaces have pretty much the same errors and I think it's just this uh, little V groove that doesn't uh, land in the same spot every time. Let's, uh, let's check this fella here with the gauge standing up and find our center of our V groove where we think is center and check us here. This is the one that was seven tenths before. Uh, I don't remember. I think we were seven tenths low over here before. Well, let's see how we did. Okay, we're within a tenth there. I'm gonna clear my gauge. Yep. Okay. Then a tenth there. Over here in the corner. Then about. Uh, yeah, and then a tenth there. So, this thing's pre a pretty accurate gauge. If it'll hold a tenth, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I can't think of anything else to check. We checked it for, just to recap, we checked it for square. It was within, uh, oh, I think it was four tenths over five inches. So, that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then we checked this flat and this flat. And we had to re we had to do three regrinds, and then we checked this flat. So one, two, three grinds. This thing's done. But now this tool is to a point where I trust it, and I can and I can put it into service and actually use it. Always check your tools. Uh, a lot of this stuff is real easy for you to fix yourself if you got a surface grinder and a good way to measure them. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out, and uh, you know I hope this inspires you guys to uh, go check your stuff and learn what you can rely on so uh get out in the shop and uh check your stuff and come up with some good shop standards all right uh thanks for watching guys we'll catch you next time okay, while we're at it uh, i went ahead and installed the rod uh on here and uh, let me clean up the bottom here i already oiled this thing so it's getting oil all over my plate Uh, we're going to check and see how the rod goes in now. And we're going to do that just by doing a highness, a crown effect here with the gauge. Find our highest point. Looks like right there. Zero up on that. Alright, we got a good zero there. Now that we've checked it in tight, let's go way out here and see how it does out here. See how close it is. Whoa, look at that. So, doing that grind on those little flats in there is pretty pretty important to make sure that uh, that happens every time. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I've got within a tenth of... Uh, uh, being parallel here on that uh, rod and that's probably uh, a good three or four inches there so it's uh, pretty good um, that was just one final check I wanted to do all right guys thanks for watching